The Texas Supreme Court has now overturned a lower court decision that granted Kate Cox, a pregnant woman facing a fatal fetal diagnosis, an exception allowing her to have an abortion. So basically the, the higher court has said no, you cannot, reversing the lower court's ruling. In a seven-page ruling issued on Monday, the state Supreme Court found Cox's case did not reach the requirement for an exception under Texas law. National correspondent Mara Sirianni is in the newsroom with more on this developing story. Mara? Yeah, this is complicated. It's a lot to break down, but this decision comes from the all-Republican Texas Supreme Court. It came hours after Kate Cox decided that she would travel out of state, that she would leave Texas to actually receive this emergency care rather than just waiting around for the high court's ruling. So um, her team described this as a week of legal whiplash, again, by the group that's representing uh, the 31-year-old. Now, she sought abortion care, emergency abortion care, after learning her fetus had a fatal condition and claimed that carrying on with the pregnancy would also put her own health and the future of her fertility at risk. So how did we get here? Last Thursday, a state district court judge sided with Cox and granted a temporary restraining order against the state so she could legally, again, have that emergency care under the Texas medical emergency exception. But Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton appealed that ruling, arguing that the fatal diagnosis for her fetus and the danger the condition poses to Cox, and again, the future of her fertility, does not qualify her for a medical exemption. Then last Friday, you had the Texas Supreme Court uh, temporarily putting that lower judge's ruling on hold and then yesterday that decision was reversed so it was so much back and forth here and again ultimately Cox deciding to leave the state to seek that care elsewhere so the New York Times reporting that this lawsuit is believed to be uh, one of the first attempts by an individual in the country seeking a court-ordered abortion since of course Roe v Wade was overturned last year now as part of their ruling the justices said that this provides clarity for other cases moving forward other women women who um, are in Cox's shoes and saying that the decision should not prohibit any woman who meets the medical necessity uh, exemption from obtaining an abortion without seeking a court order. So again, a lot of legal limbo. Um, but again, she did decide to leave the state really just hours before that decision came down. Her attorneys um, saying that she had offers from physicians in several other states, uh, Kansas, Colorado, even in Canada to carry out this emergency care for her, although they did not say uh, where she ultimately ended up going. So we don't know where she is right. or yeah. if she's had the procedure. This more we don't know that we just know what the courts in Texas have decided. She just said she's not waiting around for that decision yet. Post for America, here we are. National correspondent Morris Sirianni reporting. Thank you.